welcome to day two of our Richard Diebenkorn project. So you should have your pictures that you took yesterday, um, and then I'm gonna walk you through the next steps of how to turn those pictures that we took into a drawing. So we'll get started. All right, so these are the pictures that I took from around the house. So they are just close-ups of different objects, and again, they're just kind of abstracted and hard to tell exactly what they are. All right, so now we're going to set up a grid of nine squares so that we can transfer those pictures into drawings in those squares. So I'm gonna make a six inch by six inch square and then break it up into two inch squares. So I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so I went ahead and traced all of my lines in pen and erased all my pencil marks. Um, so, this next part, I'm going to start drawing each of my photos that I took in each square. So I have all my pictures in front of me. I'm just going to follow all the lines that I see and just draw every line in each picture. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so once we've drawn all these, we can see that they have become together, kind of, an abstract pattern. So now we can start adding colors, and we don't have to worry about the original colors of each thing we're drawing, and kind of create a cohesive abstract drawing. So I want you to pick five colors, and with those five colors, color in each section on the drawing. Alright, so I finished coloring this and I cut out a border around it. Um, so you can tell now it's just one big drawing. So we started out with these abstracted squares and now um, they all go together with these colors and the shapes that repeat around each square. Um, so I hope you enjoy this project and that you learned a little bit about abstract painting and abstract drawing. Um, and I will see you soon.